Hello friend, you are watching a series within a series within a series. This is the Cartoonish Rivers series or chapter in this series. And these are the chapters and of this series. And then that's a part of this whole project or series which we could call the Tooling of Earth, which is an ongoing exploration of history and the mystery of it and what it is and how to understand it and what to do with it with the information okay now that that's been said <laughs> oh it's late at night okay hang out with me for a bit please we're going to go to South America today and look at a few cartoonish rivers, potential examples of goofy artificial rivers, and um, not too many images today. I, will, I think I might be able to keep it under an hour. I don't know if I can keep that promise, but uh, I will try. And so, not too many images. Brazil, you've seen this one. Very brief look at that. We will take this river Mamanguape with some uh, possible straight continuing feature there in some strange sense and we might take a look at that this just a subjective feeling I get we'll just take a quick look over there some awkward angular geometry potentially in Argentina we will we will scroll around that area Panama I'm not gonna take you here just because it's, um, uh, I don't have any super solid examples in this area. It's just subjectively, it looks car somewhat cartoonish, but this is not a uh, super strong example, so I probably shouldn't have even included that image. Uh, Colombia. Yes, I will take you over here. Look at some markings and uh, other potential odd lines in the area. Uruguay. We will go there, straight edge, straight edges to these, uh, or mostly straight, almost perfectly straight edges to these river edges, uh, potential former river banks, but uh, of, I mean, of course, and then Lake Superior, we've got this guy to check out this groove, which I've showed you before, so I might take you for a brief look there. Okay, let's hop over to Google Earth, and here we are. So the first one is uh, in the Amazon, roughly uh, over here, and it's one of the offshoots of the Amazon. Just real quick, it's uh, this goofy river loop, which you've probably seen, and if you haven't heard me comment on it, uh, briefly, it just looks angular uh, here, here, and here it's kind of angular and even here kind of a almost like a circuit board or just an angular thingamajig uh, that's the only other image we have of it um, so we don't know uh, how long ago it meandered or whatever uh, so that's enough honestly I've, I've showed you some other stuff the, the basic gist of it if this is your first video you're watching is that uh, these rivers may be mimicked patterns of uh, river, um, I'm sorry, of, yes, river loops and uh, meanders. So we do witness uh, actual meander occurring over months and years and decades. So that does happen in this river. Uh, I uh, just raised the question if some of it is mimicry due to some reset or something, some uh, resurfacing of the earth. So here is that phony streak from the still image, and I say question mark because I'm not super confident about this one. We do see a straight line chilling here, which could be revealing or not. Uh, where's the nearest people? Okay, so people are nearby. Um, but uh, it just tickles my spidey senses a bit. This is one of those uh, edge cases. It's you can't really build a case on it, but um, the idea would be 
much of this uh, or all of this might be mimicry or uh, like artistic rendering of a um, what river meanders should look like if they were natural uh, or they may be natural I mean uh, this has the general look of the the more mimicked ones I'm I uh, just having looked at a lot of rivers uh, this has the kind of general look of the, the goofy ones but I haven't given it too thorough of a looking over looking for straight lines and stuff uh, the what do we got that's probably modern people doing stuff yeah uh, just a moment ago I saw something see like this edge here look at this this is awkwardly straight I would say that's the type of thing I, I tend to um, lean on f for uh, circumstantial evidence so this edge very straight and it continues over here and it's just awkward and we have stuff like this which isn't perfectly straight and I could I could uh, give this the thumbs up as a natural or at least natural looking um, thing that's similar to the straight one it's just it feels straight for just a little bit too long it's just uh, a little too awkward to me so let me place mark that as quickly as I can uh, and then we will move along okay and it continues over here Sorry about that. Thank you for your patience. And um, so this guy, in light of this straight thing, th this type of straight thing makes me ask, and I just found this just now, but it just makes me ask the question, okay, well, how much of all of this is natural? And of course, the rest of the surface of the earth. So that is that for now and let me oh I think I wanted to show you uh, just down the way in the uh, uh, in the Amazon we've got these darn it can't find it good well I was I was looking uh, crap oh, I'm upside down that's why okay Jesus sorry about that um, so these uh, oblong lakes which are kind of aligned along a direction. These almost look like uh, some type of manufactured feature. Uh, obviously there could be natural explanations as to why they're all kind of lined up and look kind of similar. Uh, but I point these out because they resemble uh, the next place I wanted to take you, which was a straight line here. Could be anything. Let's forget it for now. In Argentina, there's a similar type of pattern of, let me uh, pull up the image to get the, Yeah, so awkward angular geometry. So those lakes are reminiscent somewhat of what's going on here. It's subtle and maybe it's nothing. This might not be the strongest example, but it's just uh, somewhat similar stylistic uh, home hallmark of the author, if there indeed is one, potentially. And this as well, a little bit. Okay, so let's go here. Awkward. Angular. Yes. So, 
this is that in Argentina and it's up this river here and we will look at this Let's get a feel for the system as a whole awkwardly straight edge possibly 2009 That could be natural or, or artificial looking, the straightness of it. Mm. I'm not ready to um, be super confident on that one. 2017, 2017 photo. Mm. Kind of looks a little straight whatever skip that awkward angular geometry with rounded corners so this is it and similar things around good chance it's natural obviously just uh, in light of those uh, other lakes and also some of the lakes in Russia. Russia is kind of covered in little s small lakes as well. Uh, these could just be like um, another type of terraforming maneuver, the, uh, the small lake thing. And just like uh, one, one uh, stylistic uh, embellishment or addition to the landscape to spice it up or what have you. Okay, so any interesting place marks? Here we could potentially have the turn straight for a while, have the rivers turn straight for a while, like we were seeing in, I think, the last episode or video. Uh, okay. Like I said, I'm gonna try and keep this video short. I don't have um, too many super strong ones in this video, or not quite as interesting as some of the other places, so don't wanna take five hours of your time in South America today. Um, all right. So what's the next one? Panama, just subjective, goofy proportions. Maybe not though. Uh, yeah, I didn't look over this area too carefully, so I don't think I'm gonna take you here. Colombia, I will take you here. Wide parallel gouge marks. And what else? Go to Colombia and see what we find. Where the heck is Colombia? Do I even know? There we go. So it is. Yeah, along the north side of Colombia, and we have potentially these guys, uh, more so these little sawtooth things or uh, triangular patterns are a little odd, and then also this, it's kind of faint, but these... Uh, doesn't look like it's really changed since 1969, but these kind of fingers here. Again, maybe natural features of the river. Uh, don't know. What other place marks do I have in the area? 
long thin path continues. Actually, just over here. Um, so this curve here seems to like where these triangular things start. Uh, you know what, this might be like a village path or something. That's the thing you never know. And the path, the village path may be created on top of the older terraforming path. Or it might be, it looks like it's power lines or something, so I'll just skip it. It's a long, thin path continues. What are we talking about? We are talking about this here. And see it faintly there. And looks like it curves. And you might need to pull this one up yourself. It's kind of hard to make out. I'll pull it up in your own Google Earth, I guess. Mm. Not my most striking find. So I might skip along to the next one. Almost straight path, not quite. Yeah, skip that. Long path, 2000 photo. Um, if I remember correctly, the photos were not revealing much. So it's just some kind of subtle um, bare spot almost. Uh, through the trees, kind of. Maybe something here. Potentially. Okay. Could just be an old river path. It's a 2000 photo. Okay, um, just seeing like this, and what else, like this, this, mm. like that, looking like it almost continues underwater, it's too faint to make anything out, sometimes, I'm like, what the heck was I thinking on this place mark? Like, probably, probably like three or four out of the ten times, I'm like, I don't even see what I was talking about. But uh, number one, I guess my understanding has evolved, and I, um, I'm a little more cautious now, or uh, mm, well, whatever. And number two, uh, sometimes you have to look like really close to even see what I'm talking about. And so uh, I have to readjust to the landscape. Um, so I think I'm talking about this. Yeah, that's like this. And also, when I made the place mark, sometimes the the photo has been updated since then, so the, the place mark is like, it doesn't look like it's pointing out anything, but I was looking at a previous photo. That's sometimes angular path, so I'm referring to this, which goes like this, seemingly, and then just continues. Thin path, I think I mean like this. Awkwardly straight, potentially. Thin path continues. Here we have kind of two parallel paths almost. Kind of see something parallel this way. Perhaps. Okay, uh, let's go to the next area, please. Uruguay. Okay, 
that and that. So give me a second while I find it. Yeah, so this guy in Uruguay. So this is here. And at the mouth of this thing, we have this kind of uh, thin border here, and then this potential gap here, and then another thing going on here. So that could just be former riverbanks, former like just like this that's uh, eroding away. And these lines may be recent, likely, don't know. Okay, uh, straight edge, and then this is the other image I had. This one, straight edge, faint. We may need to go to a previous photo to see it. So, you gotta kinda look closely. But I am referring to this edge and this one in the middle here, which isn't really showing up. I feel like I had a better look at it in a different photo. Uh, again, maybe, uh, maybe riverbanks. I think I, uh, I'm not the best presenter. <laughs> I, I think I may have overdid it on the the amount of examples on cartoonish rivers because I'm probably number one losing your interest and number two some of the examples aren't quite as strong as I, was, I should have ensured. So uh, so that kind of uh, m uh, dilutes the potency of my argument. Um, just noticing these things. How about this guy? That's modern, maybe. These lines. Okay, and angular tree line. Kind of like this and then I think the ankle mostly I'm referring to is right here so it's like something that was and then potentially tracing all this as well awkward alcove okay so this is a little Angular. Uh, let me get rid of it. Mm. I mean, a little. It's angular. Still could be natural. Much change over the years. Cloud. Uh, mm. That's unfortunate. And stuff like this, like these parallel lines here, that could be either the natural river trajectory, former river trajectory, or it could be a clearing of the area. Whether modern or uh, weirder. Here we see some angular, if you kind of back out, potential angular features might just be the graphics. Let me 
seeing this line that's certainly there it just uh, could be a foot trail or dirt road or anything straight line here some possible parallel stuff this way potentially um, yeah short straight channel wonderful that could be anything really and then I guess just to compare uh, this guy to uh, the one in Lake Superior. It's kind of a similar thing, just as one potential feature of these cartoonish rivers. And uh, yeah, so it uh, looks like the newest photo has only one ridge here. 2016 as to 2011 so it's kind of it's got some dynamic look to it over the years apparently okay interesting it's just kind of like a double groove um, yeah, I'm not super confident on that one anymore still considering that it might be artifice and kind of a similar thing here you see like this is what I mean by like uh, some kind of groove along the uh, interior or the edge of the the coast uh, but I could even see that being natural this is kind of a bare spot here And here, just kind of like the straight and sweep, like I was talking about, possibly. And Great Lakes are pretty interesting. Um, I think that's it for this video. Um, this video is probably nearly worthless because <laughs> I, I don't have any super strong examples. And I feel, uh, I don't know, I just wanted to do a quick one. For, for me and for you and just get the examples over with. So, um, those are examples, kinda maybe. Uh, uh, hopefully I'll have some cooler, uh, more striking and more uh, blatant examples in the next uh, Cartoonish Rivers episode. Okay, thank you.